Hey guys, it's Nikki with This Robin's Nest. In today's video, I thought I would just take you guys with me on a little bit of my day. I've had some home decor stuff that I've gotten for the new house um, over time that I haven't put out yet. Let's find spots to put stuff away in this house and start to get this bad boy decorated. Let's go. This is one of our dining spaces and the kitchen's to the right. But underneath of this dining room table, I have a rug from Pottery Barn that I purchased at a yard sale a few years ago. It was a great deal. I believe I got this and another rug for $30 if I remember correctly. It was something like that. So it was around $15 each rug, a total steal. Um, I did pick up a new rug at a yard sale and it's got black and white colors less of these like beigey tones so i just want to try it under there and see if it helps the area to pop a little bit and kind of goes with the pillows that i have on the benches so we're gonna try that out today but this is the new rug that i picked up at a yard sale it was she was asking 30 i offered 20 and we settled on 25 and it's a beautiful rug it's brand new so it was still a great deal, but you can see it kind of gets lighter in the middle. Then it has kind of like, I don't know if it's an ombre effect, but it increasingly gets darker um, towards the ends. This is the rug that I currently have under the table. So it's got a really nice print to it. It's really dirty. I have to vacuum it, um, but we use it and this is where we eat. So a lot of stuff falls onto this rug. So I'm not sure that I'm going to love switching out to this rug but I'm gonna give it a try. So let's put it under the table and see what happens. So I like it. It's nice to change things up once in a while. I can always move the rugs later. I think the plan is to use the other rug up in my master bathroom. I'm not sure if I'll get to that today and show you guys that as well, but I think it ties in with the pillows a lot better and it just is a really clean look. Although the Pottery Barn rug helped to um, tie in the color of the wood. It looked really cohesive. It brought out um, some of the warmer tones. But for right now, I like this really crisp, clean, black and white look. Okay, so now you guys have seen um, the rug under that dining room table. I'm just gonna walk you over here because um, a lot of you are asking kind of what I did with my Target dollar spot finds that are farmhouse inspired. Um, how did I use them to decorate? And I'm really just starting um, to put them out. So we went to the Home Depot and I found these kind of like plywood shelves. They look like barn wood, but they are plywood. And they were only, I think, $4.98 for a board. They're pre-cut. All you gotta do is put them on the wall. And then we just got these brackets, which were about the same price um, to put them up. So really, really inexpensive. And I have this buffet over here, which I absolutely love and adore. But we just needed a little something else in the space. So we put three shelves up here. Obviously they're not um, fully decorated. I had intended on putting my canned goods on there. So like my pistachios, my almonds. The intent was to put them on these shelves, but I think they're gonna be a little bit too heavy. Um, they are less expensive shelves, so they're not gonna hold as much weight. They're not as durable. But instead I started to accessorize. So you see I have my fresh baked um, pie served daily from Target Dollar Spot. The eat sign is from Target Dollar Spot and eat local up there is also from Target Dollar Spot. So there's three out of the four pieces that I've put out so far. Um, and then I've got my little grocery shopping bag hanging here and mine and my daughter's apron. They were part of the Joanna Gaines collection for Matilda Jane if you're curious about those and just some little bits and bobbles, but I will slowly fill that in over time. Also on top of my stove top, I have the farm sign from the Target dollar spot, and then in the little wire basket on the counter there, you can see a couple of the cookbooks from Target dollar spot, so that shows you guys a couple of the places that um, I've placed the items around my house. And I have all these yummy scented candles that are burning while I'm working away and decorating. I've got watermelon, I've got a cherry, I've got a peach, and I believe a coconut there that are all burning together. It smells so good in here, you guys. I also found this rhinoceros head from Target um, in a storage bin out in the garage when I was starting to go through one of them. I forgot we even had it. So we have a unicorn up in Bella Rose's room um, from Target as well. And I think that I'm going to hang this on the front door of her room. And so it'll be like her little 
entryway guy meeting her when she comes home or goes into her bedroom. Okay, so here's the front door to Bella Rose's room. I've got my little command hooks there and I think I'm gonna try to put this guy front and center. Let's, let's hang up a hook and see how it looks. All right, so here's how it looks, the rhinoceros on the door to her room. I think it's pretty cute. Here is a really cool black and white lumbar pillow that I found at Nordstrom in the home department. It was in a basket laying under the clearance table a few weeks ago and I got a really good deal on it and I think I have just the place for it to go. It's downfilled too, it's really nice. Here is the pillow on my bed. It fits perfectly, so I'm gonna take the tag off. And I think that is where I'm going to leave it. $17 score at Nordstrom. Thank you very much. Okay guys, I have really struggled with this entryway. Um, I put some canvas pictures up on the wall, which I'm not really happy with either. I think I'm gonna get them framed and um, work them out a little bit better. But you can see I've got this entryway table um, with a couple of knickknacks on it, which I haven't really done much with. And then I've got this mail sorter here um, and there's nothing above it on the wall. So it's really not decorated, but I think I'm going to put the rug in this space right here. Okay, so here's the Nate Burkus rug that I got, but I think I'm going to put it in this space because it's a pretty long area. Actually, I know it really doesn't show up where I have the camera set up, but it goes pretty long. So I'm gonna see how it looks here. So here's the rug and I really like it here. Um, the only concern I have is that it's black and white, mostly white, and so coming in from the door into the entryway there, it might get footprints on it um, during rainy season, during the winter, but I might switch it out. Fits the space nicely. So I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, so here is the panel that I'm going to be trying to put up in my master bedroom. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I got two panels, and I used the 40% off coupon on one, and my husband used one off on the other, so they were quite reasonable. And I have curtains already up in my master bedroom. They are the basic white that you see behind you. I think these look a little more farmhouse inspired, so I'm gonna put them up and see if I like them better or not. So here are the new curtains and I really really like them. They're light and airy. It lightens up the space and I love the gray striping on both the um, both sides of the curtain so I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I also went thrifting recently, went to some yard sales and I found some goodies so I will be making that video and in the meantime thanks for watching today and if you like today's video um, please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys shortly bye